What are you doing today, Mom? I'm making my own lotion. Today I am making sheet milk lotion. This is by no means an instructional video. This is my first time making it. I just invite you to come along with me and we can see how we like it. So there's a few ingredients that you will need. Um, I've already got them measured out here, but I will list them in the description below if you decide that you want to make this for yourself. So you will need um, water. Um, I'm using sheet milk. You will need some emulsifying wax. And then I'm using coconut oil. Um, the recipe, it, it calls for coconut oil, almond oil, just whatever oil um, you have on hand, you can use that sunflower oil. And then I have some shea butter. And then I have some Optifin, which this will help it um, last a little bit longer. It'll help mold not grow in the lotion. And then I'm adding an essential oil to it. Today I'm going to be adding lavender to our lotion. So what I'm going to do is, first you need to combine the, um, the oils and the shea butter together. So I'm going to go ahead and get it heated up all together. This is the shea butter. This is the coconut oil. You just want to make sure that you get it all melted together. So next, I'm going to add the wax crystals to it and melt them as well. So while that is finishing melting, I'm going to add in a bowl, I'm going to add our sheet milk, which I got the sheet milk from a local farmer here in our village. And then your water. I'm going to remove it from the heat and just let it set for just a couple seconds. And then I'm going to mix it in to the bowl that I just added, the sheet milk to and the water. And then you need to mix it together for about four to five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and set a timer for five minutes. like it was forever okay so the next step is to add the optimum which what I said that is it helps keep um, help reduce mold growth and it keeps your lotion um, lasting a lot longer then I'm gonna add my essential oil which I chose lavender and then you'll want to mix it again for one minute
And that was a minute for that. So the recipe does say that it'll be very runny. Um, as you can see, mine is a very runny texture. So that's perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna go see if I can find Josh and see if he can help me fill up these bottles. Once you put them in the bottles, he does say to let them set. The recipe did say it would make 20 ounces, so we'll see. So it made about 21 ounces, and there's some here on the counter. Um, now you can either let them set out or you can put them in the fridge to let them cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put ours in the fridge to kind of speed up the process a little bit. And then we'll see where that goes. So I just got these out of the refrigerator. So let's take a look at them and see how they did. It's got a really nice lotion texture. Really smooth and silky a great lavender smell so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe thanks guys